today's question is, any tips for getting kids to memorize their lines quicker? It seems like some of them just wait until the last minute to give me a panic attack. How do I motivate them to learn the lines when I want them to? Okay, I know what you mean. This is one of the biggest stresses for all of us in musicals. And um, I will tell you that kids can learn much better than adults. Even now, the thought of memorizing something for me is terrifying. <laughs> just because our brains get old, I don't know what happens. Kids can totally do it. You just have to expect it from them. So what I do is I pick a date that's really, really far from the show. Preferably, I would say lines need to be memorized and I would pick a, a date a month beforehand. Okay, so if the show is May 1st, I'd say lines have to be memorized by April 1st, no questions. Now, if you have a limited amount of time, like sometimes I do, um, if you really only had like five weeks to learn the show or something, then, you know, obviously I would do it maybe, I would say April 1st, you need to have scenes one, two, and three memorized. And then April 15th, the rest of it memorized. But then it's up to you to follow through on that. And you guys just have such sweet hearts. I've said it before. You have such soft hearts for your kids that you do, do them a disservice by letting them look at their scripts. They need to, you need to follow through and then they will do what you say. So if you say it has to be done, once they know you're serious, they'll memorize. They absolutely will. And once they've memorized, there's room for grace. And you can help them with a line or two. If they say line, that means they don't know the rest of the line. So you just give them, you say, I'll give you the first two words and then that'll jog your memory. And if they really have done the work, that will jog their memory. If they haven't, then they're gonna sit there feeling awkward. So if they say line and you say the real reason, and then if they know it, they'll say, the real reason we're supposed to read our Bibles is blah, 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 blah. But if they don't, they'll say the real reason, and then they won't know, and they'll say, and they'll look at you, I don't know it, say, then say, say line, line, is that God? And they'll repeat it after you, right? And it's totally, totally awkward. I've said this before, it's so awkward, but you'll never have to do it again. And it doesn't have to be done in a malicious way at all. You don't have to be mad. It's just something you have to get through. And you can um, compliment them after and say, I know it seemed like you were memorized, right? Well, there's still some more work to be done, but I know you can do it. You, the, the key is you need to do that far ahead of time. You do not want to be doing that the night before because that will give you a panic attack. And then you're going to want to yell and scream and say, why didn't you do this? I've been pouring my life into you. So the key is pick a date that's very early and stick with it. And then it starts getting really fun. When you are not panicking and they're not panicking, you guys can have a really good time. And the word of God goes forth and everyone's having a good time. Keep your questions coming, send them to me, and I'd love to answer them.